guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Cookie, and today I'm going to show you what I did to my friend's dining room. As you know, I've been working on my friend's apartment makeover and have been buying all sorts of furniture for her place. In my previous videos, I've already shared with you the living room makeover, the master bedroom makeover, the bathroom makeover, as well as the study room. If you've missed any of that, I'm going to link them above so you can check them out in a bit. However, today it's time to talk about the dining room and I'm really looking forward to sharing with you all the different things that I've purchased for this space. As you know, I'm thrilled about doing this because my friend gave me no restrictions whatsoever. So I can buy whatever I like in the colors that I like and just mount it into her space and hope that she will like it in the end. Without further ado, let us get started and have a look at what the dining room area looked like before I put anything into it. As you can see, the style of the apartment had already been chosen to a certain extent because the floor had already been installed and there was also the side cabinet that already was in a certain color. Besides that, there's a lot of room to try out different things. Very empty space as you can see, however it gives us a lot of potential and a lot of space to try out something new. So let us get started! As you know, I want to make videos that have loads of light, so it's my number one priority to get the lights mounted first. Compared to all the other light fixtures that I've already shared with you, this is by far my number one and I can't wait to hear what you think about it. Do let me know in the comment section below. If you watched my living room and my master bedroom makeover, you have realized that I like spider lamps. However, for this dining room, I wanted to have a very different lamp, especially because the dining room and the living room are connected, so I didn't want them to look too similar. That was one of my considerations. Secondly, I just wanted to have something different in each room, so I thought having different ceiling lights that are of very different styles and have a very different touch to them would be a good start of achieving that. Of course I had to use my drill in order to make a couple of holes into the ceiling to install the ceiling light and afterwards I had to make sure that both strands of this light are actually the same length. As I always say when I install a light it might look a bit difficult on video but if you look at the instruction manual there's no reason why you should not be able to mount a light by yourself as you can see I have no one helping me either. It's definitely easier if you have someone who can help you hold the screws and so on but it's not a necessity at all and I could perfectly perfectly managed by myself. I think this light looks awesome and I'm so happy to have chosen it. The other great thing is it has three different settings so you can change the light intensity and I think it fits perfectly into the space. With the light mounted, the next thing was the major piece of the dining room and that is obviously the dining table and the dining room chairs. I got them online and they were designed to my dimensions and everything was made according to my wishes. However, that meant that I had to assemble it myself otherwise it would have cost a lot of money to ask someone to come and do it for me. And that's why I had to unpack it and that took a lot of time and ironically the unwrapping and unpacking of all the items took me much longer than putting them together afterwards. But I'm quite satisfied with the results so it was definitely worth it. One day I opened the door and look at what had arrived. These things looked so huge and I have so much wooden stuff around them that I had to get rid of. I'm pretty sure there's an easy way to do this but to me it was quite difficult to get all of this off and in the end I ended up using an electric saw because it would have taken me years to take this off. I'm not sure what they were thinking when they were packaging it like that. Obviously they just wanted to make sure that it would stay safe but as you can see it was quite difficult to unwrap it and it was much more difficult I have to say to get it out of this wooden crate than to assemble it later on. I ended up using this electric tool that has a saw attached to it. It made things a lot easier and you will see later on on the balcony makeover that I made good use of this tool so it was definitely worth getting it. Even if it was just to unwrap this, it would already have been worth it because it was just so time consuming to get everything off. But I'm glad I was able to make good use of this tool. Once I had everything unpacked, I am happy to report that nothing was harmed in the process, neither in the transportation process nor in me trying to unwrap everything that is inside. The next step was to get rid of all the bubble wrap. I ended up with so much bubble wrap, guys, it's incredible. And then finally it was time to put everything together in the middle of the floor and use the screws to put it all together. Let me tell you a tabletop out of marble is really heavy so you can see me here trying to slide it towards the middle of the floor because it was so big that it didn't really fit anywhere else. And once I had made sure that all the protective casing was taken off it, it was finally time to install the legs on top of the tabletop. As I said earlier, I got this table by designing it myself and making an order somewhere really far away. I'm not sure exactly where it was made. However, it took a long time to get to me. 
And in order for transportation not to be too expensive, they sent it to me in bits and pieces and that's why I had to put it together. I always had the choice to ask someone to help me, but that would just have been so cost prohibitive. That's why I always, whenever there's an option to do it yourself, I decide to do it myself and give it a try. Because the table is so heavy, I found it to be the most difficult one to turn around because when you turn it around, you have to make sure that you're using both legs at the same moment, otherwise one of the legs might break and you don't want that to happen. So if you're in that situation, I highly encourage you to ask someone to help you turn the table around. It's much easier to turn it around if it's two of you and not just you by yourself. With regard to the chairs, it was pretty easy. They looked like skeletons when they arrived, but all I had to do was to add on these chair cushions from either end and repeat the same process for all the chairs that you have. In my case, I have four of these chairs. Since I was using an electric screwdriver, this was done pretty easily. If you don't have one, don't worry, you can still do it with a normal screwdriver. However, be prepared, it might take you a little bit longer. In addition, what I wanted to say is that it's definitely worth doing it yourself. In my case, it would have cost me quite a bit more if I had asked someone to do it for me. So definitely never give up and try it yourself first. If it doesn't work out, you can always ask someone for help. Finally, the time we've all been waiting for has arrived and we can take off the protective case from the table. Isn't this so exciting? And look at what the marble looks like. Isn't it just beautiful? I wish I could have bought a table like that for my apartment. However, I don't even have a dining room in my apartment and it's much too small for it. Now you might remember my friend's number one requirement for her apartment space. She didn't care about what it looks like, what colors I choose, but she really wanted to have loads of storage opportunities. For that reason, I designed a shelving unit for her where she can put all her plates, pots or whatever she has that is related to the dining room area. The biggest challenge was to make the table work with the storage unit. Because the table was rather large, that's something she wanted to have in case she has family and friends come over. However, on a day-to-day -day basis, she doesn't really need that big of a table. For that reason, I found a storage solution that enables her to tuck her table into her storage. And by that, she makes the table a bit smaller, it doesn't take up that much space in a room, and it makes it much easier for her dining room to be used to its full extent. I drew that storage unit by myself, you will see that I've got a little sketch of it. I'm glad that in the end it worked out all right because the storage unit and the table were all made up to my dimensions and if either of them had been a bit off the dimensions that I wanted to have, it wouldn't have fit together. Here you can see an overview of my design. As you can see, it has four doors that are sliding doors and the table tucks in right from the middle. Here are a few pics of what I received in the mail and let us follow up with the end result in a bit. The last step in this dining room makeover are the accessories and I couldn't wait to get started on that because there are just so many things to pick from. I ended up getting her table mats as well as plates and many other accessories that you will see in a bit. If you believe it or not, I ended up with even more bubble wrap and I love bubble wrap, it's so much fun to play with but for now I think I'm covered with so much bubble wrap that I won't need any more in the very near future to play with. As you can see I went with a dark grey colour for the cups, plates and so on that I chose for her and two different sorts of table mats to put on her table in order for the colors to look a bit nicer. The two colors I chose for the table mats were dark gray and cream color, the reason being that the chairs are also cream color and gray matches quite well the floor as well as all the other accessories that I got. Another little highlight I want to show you is that pot that I put on top of the storage unit. You might not see it very closely but it actually looks pretty cute. It has a face painted on top of it and in the later pictures you will see it a bit more up close. It can be used to put in flowers or you can just leave it like that. This is the end of the video but it wouldn't be the real end of my video if there weren't a before and after comparison. Before I show you the after comparison let's review very quickly what everything looked like before. I hope you still remember that this is what we started with. I don't think I would have chosen these colors for the floor and the storage unit if it had been me deciding, but I think overall it worked out quite well in the end. And having a few restrictions wasn't too bad after all. Now that we've seen that, let's have a quick look what the dining room looks like right now. I hope you like it. Let us just focus on the dining room area and less on that storage unit that is to the left since I will have a separate video about that. But as you can see, it came together quite nicely. The chair color matches the floor color and I was able to find this cream, gray, white combination that applies to the table, the accessories as well as the chair. I know I can't take pictures so I apologize if this doesn't give the room any justice but I hope it still gives you an idea of the after situation. 
As for my previous videos, I have no idea whether my friend actually likes this space because it's too early for her to visit the apartment. I haven't allowed her to do so. It has to be completely ready before she comes. Hence, I can't tell you whether she likes it or not, but I sincerely hope she does. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I had a lot of fun putting all these things together and I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you haven't seen my previous videos in this series, I do encourage you to check them out. I'm going to link some above. Also, if you haven't seen the rental apartment makeover of my own apartment that I've already posted, I'm going to post a link for that as well. I hope you're going to check them out and give me a thumbs up if you like my videos and consider following me so you don't miss out on any future videos. I can't wait to see you in my next video. See you soon. Bye.